like a doll's eye statue review here after being away for a long long time too long I'm here with my review of the Iron Studios Captain America Civil War um, one-fourth scale statue so there's been a few reviews there's not too many of them out there um, they're done really well and everything I just thought I'd um, come on, on here and just give my thoughts real quick um, very happy with this purchase uh, very impressed with um, Iron Studios and how well they were able to sculpt this and really make it look like something um, very realistic as far as um, the texturing and clothing uh, as well as the face sculpt of Chris Evans as Captain America. Um, I've had a few Captain America statues. I had the original um, Captain America First Avenger premium format. Yeah, I was not in love with that one. Um, I like pictures of it, but I just was never fully on board with that. Then I got the Winter Soldier, and which, as everyone knows, doesn't look a thing like Chris Evans, which was fine. I, I was fine with that. Um, I didn't need to have uh, it look just like Chris Evans. I just wanted a cool looking Captain America, but um, it didn't. It didn't show the shield, um, and that's what prevented me from going after the uh, Age of Ultron version was it was missing the shield and um, it, I mean they have the shield but it's not on prominent display and that's what I love about this piece. Uh, Sideshow had the one premium format that was based on the comics there um, I can't remember what it's called officially but he had a pose where he had a shield out in front. The shield was um, that's a nice statue my uh, friend has it and it, it is very nice and I actually contemplated on getting that but um, this one came out and I like it. And I actually am a bigger fan of Captain America in the films than I ever was in the comics. I never really read Captain America. So I figured this would uh, fill my Captain America needs. So anyway, uh, going back on to um, the piece itself, it's like I said, it's, it's done very well. There's been a lot of talk about the texturing done on the clothing. My, my camera's not going to pick it up, I'm sure. But it is done really, really well well I mean it really stands out all the, the texturing and what looks like nylon and seeing it in person I mean pictures and videos I mean we've all heard this a gazillion times don't do this piece justice as far as seeing the texturing and everything on the suit but it's done just really, really, really well. Very cool. It's definitely the highlight of the piece. The second highlight is probably how well Chris Evans' uh, face sculpt is done. Um, very realistic. Um, really think that they kind of nailed nailed them. Uh, as far from the watching the videos and seeing um, the uh, um, seeing the uh, videos of the Age of Ultron piece, the face sculpts are very similar. Um, almost exact. So, uh, I don't th know if one's better than the other. Um, in person, I'm very happy with this. Um, the shield looks great. I love that it's on display. I, I tend to like to have them kind of like this. Um, Freeman, I believe, uh, she stated that this was a better piece to, to, um, uh, have on display high. And I tend to agree with her. That's kind of how I have my piece. I have them up on top of my Vesta. Uh, high and um, I just think it looks great that way uh, He also looks great on display with other Marvel characters comic or otherwise um, I, it's, People have seen my picture of, that I have of him with spider-man online and and uh, the new spider-man premium format and uh, he looks good So very happy with this piece iron studios did a great job with it um, Nothing really to complain about I guess if I was to complain about anything if I really had to force myself to it would be the base is maybe a little boring, but it's part of a trilogy, so I can't really complain about that. I wish the pose maybe was a little bit better. I, I'm not sure how I would do it a little better, because um, I am overall happy with it. Um, and it's kind of hard to get a sh shield straight on, you know, and get a good shot of that um, if he's in other type poses other than just kind of hiding behind his shield. So I don't, I don't think it can really take anything away. Um, Ant-Man that comes with it. Ant-Man's cool. It's a nice little addition. I do like having Ant-Man with the piece. Um, my camera again will probably have trouble. Oh, there we go. Picking it up somewhat. 
did a good job with this and it's got some good texturing on it also and um, yeah I, I, I like I like I like the little Ant-Man and uh, it kind of it's kind of cool because he's kind of in this very heroic pose next to the larger Captain America so it's, it's kind of comical I think um, to see it and that kind of fits the way they're doing the characters in the movie um, but again uh, no complaints very happy overall um, I guess they're sold out on Sideshow now, uh, but I guess you can still get it at other sites. If you are on the fence about this, I would pick this up. Um, I'm sure they'll come out, Iron Studios will do some more Chris Evans type, um, Captain Americas. And, you know, if they come out with a better one, I, I, I won't have a problem, well, I'll have a problem selling this, but I won't mind upgrading if they come out with a better one. Um, but I'm very happy with this, and this seems like a keeper if I want to, you know, as long as I never get tired of Captain America, which we all know as collectors, things change. But I'm very happy with this piece. I've had it for a few weeks now, actually a month, about a month, I think, month and a half maybe. And like I said, I have no complaints. It really goes well with my collection. And just as an overall piece, I think it really um, uh, looks good. It does look better with other pieces. I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's not so much, no, well, you know, I like it as a standalone piece. I have no complaints about I, where I have it. He is standalone. And I think he looks good. And I have no complaints about this piece at all. I thought, um, you know, I think all statues are overpriced. Uh, so um, I think this one is too. But, you know, for what you get as far as likeness and everything, um, I think it's, I think you can say in the statue world, it's worth the price. Um, so if you're on the fence about it, I would get it before it ends up selling out and everybody's, uh, you know, this thing skyrockets like Age of Ultron. And maybe it won't. Maybe it'll always stay around that same price. But I think it's, uh, it's uh, limited to 350 So, um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, um, I'll be back with another review here. I think I'll do another one uh, pretty soon right here, probably even today. So, uh, see you guys then.